Australia has a lot of unique and diverse habitats, from giant coral reefs to lush rainforests to some of the most barren deserts around. But one thing rings true, where there's water, there's life. Whether the intricate river systems, isolated billybongs, or tidal flats, unique life seems to abound from birds and fish to reptiles and unique species of non-native deer, like the Moloccan rusa. This morning, it's about 30 minutes before daylight, and I'm quite a ways back from where I've been hunting. And I'm just gonna try to locate some stags by roaring. It's like hunting elk in real thick timber. Because there'll be a ton of hinds and one stag. Just a lot of eyes. And it's loud. And just happening upon one. But I'm gonna get up here. I, mean, I heard him roaring. And, I, and then it just stopped. smell them strong here and there's a really good trail like well used going to this creek bottom they might be in this this little bottom here I just need them to roar more sound like there's a close one and some further ones but i haven't heard the close one again in a while I just need them to light off i'm gonna get up here in some cover and call Yes. 
somewhere in here. The wind's good. so there might be a lot that I don't see for sure. It's so thick. Like you'll see the video I took with this, you can barely see just part of its face. Give him a few minutes to settle down. Then I'm gonna take my bow and camera and crawl in there. It's just so thick and loud in here. some calls and I can hear one working this way but I think I gotta cut the distance reeks of stags in here and I can see one's pissed on the dirt here just marking its turf so I'm definitely in his zone kind of found this little pocket where they seem to be holding but he just quieted down so he's in here somewhere odds are if I can't hear him I'm just gonna blow him out but I'm gonna kind of work in the direction he was see if I can't get him to make another noise and if not I might just head toward the water and post up today I got a lot of 
thing's working against me right now. The grass just got really tall. So if I do see them, I'm gonna have to shoot them at point blank range because it's like taller than their backs. I might see his antlers before he sees me, but I won't be able to see the hinds. It's loud and I'm walking into the sun. Like that's just not a good setup with the camera lenses and everything. But I'll give him another roar. He's right out here somewhere. Should be able to hear him in the grass. Uh, well, they just shut up. They kind of stopped talking and that was the end of that. It's just too thick to really locate them in there if they aren't making noise. The grass is pretty much taller than their bodies, so they're safe for right now. There's a few water holes around here. It seems like middle of the day they head to water and morning they're making noise, evening they're making a little bit of noise, but it's been kind of tough actually. Might go ahead toward the lake, see if I can't spot something. That was insane. I had one of the most incredible stalks in my life. I spotted this, these two big stags. It's the biggest Arusa stag I've seen. And the, the stalk was crazy. I was crawling in. These four hinds came up out of the water and started walking toward me. I just laid down for about 30 minutes, baking in the sun. They walked 10 feet past me. And then I rolled back on my belly, crawled, crawled, crawled to about 100 yards saw the two stags feeding. Picked out the bigger one and kept having to crawl and put trees and everything in between the two of us. It was pretty open just to where I can see the stags. I as I crawl, like I always count how many paces it would be just in case, like just so I know in my head to plan. And as I'm counting, I'm about 
around 40 yards and I, I raise up to range him and my range finder won't work. It's like dead. I don't know if the heat or the battery died then. Uh, but I'm like, okay, I know how far he is just by pacing it off as I stalked in. I set my pin, draw back, shoot him like perfect shot. He runs out, falls over in the, in the swamp here. I was just shaking. Like I, I couldn't even control it afterwards. I was just so excited. It's an incredible stock. And then I checked the camera to see how the, probably what would have been the most awesome hunting footage I've ever taken. And it had turned off, but whatever. It's all part of the experience. It's part of self filming. It's that happens every once in a while, but I, it doesn't bum me out because honestly, one of the most incredible stocks of my life, I'll have it up here in my mind forever. And yeah, I didn't get footage of it, but that's not what hunting's about. 